Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here. Today I'm going to talk about Bratley compression. Uh, there's one question that my clients ask me all the time is, hey, how do I know if Bratley compression is enabled? So here I'm in Chrome, I'm in Google Chrome, and I, you know, right click anywhere in the background, go to inspect. From here I go to the network tab. Once I'm in the network tab, reload the home page. And now I'm going to look down here. I'm going to scroll up to the initial HTTP document request. Um, I'm going to right click this bar and I like to enable two things. One is the protocol where you can see HTTP2 and whatever. The other one I like to enable is response headers, content encoding. So there you go. Um, I'm going to reload this again. And as you can see, um, some of these have BR, right? So if you don't know, BR means it's uh, they're broadly, they're compressed with broadly encoding. Okay. If I click on the, I'm gonna go back here. I click on the document request and scroll down. It says BR right there, right? So if we didn't have this out here, there are many ways for you to do it. You can just click on it directly, scroll down. You can see the BR request, um, or you can be like me, uh, do this that way. It's it's nice and convenient. It's there for you. Now, um, you may see some things, you might say, hey, why is not everything uh, encoded by Broadly? Why, why is this on gzip over here? Okay, well, let's see. I hover my mouse over it, and it's coming from static.mailerlite. Okay, that's a third-party server, so, um, you know, shame on them. They're compressing it with gzip. Why would they do that? It's probably because it uses less server processing power. Um, down here, we have a few other items that are, you know... Um, third party again so all the mailer light stuff is compressed with gzip they don't want to use broadly uh, we have google analytics here which isn't compressed with uh, anything it's just kind of served like that so you know um, and probably doesn't matter much it's it, it's probably not something heavy uh, well that's it that's one way to find out what's the other way you can do broadly right, I'm going to search google for a broadly compression check here you go, we'll go to the first thing, and I'm going to just enter my website URL from here. And uh, what you mean, enter a URL? That is a URL. Oh, there you go. And okay, broadly supported. Um, there's some other ones. Uh, you can do like a gzip test, right? Okay, this one checks gzip and broadly. Right. Okay. So it's Bratley is enable, and then that's the, it's telling you the Bratley size. Uh, Bratley is compressing most of it. Um, so there you go. Either use your developer tools. Uh, Firefox has their own. All the browsers have their own. Or you can go online and use one of the free services. Thanks for watching.